Uh, today uh, we'll present the, the result of uh, what we get uh, during this uh, Ariadna uh, project. Uh, uh, we, will, uh, we, will, uh, we have been working with uh, two researchers of Cordoba and a few uh, postdoc uh, and PhD students. The main two researchers are uh, Pedro Antonio Gutierrez and uh, Cesar Herbaz from the University of, of Cordoba. Uh, the main goal of, of, uh, of the study was to get uh, more insight about the climate tipping point and basically uh, we were uh, adopting or we were working with uh, methodologies that uh, they are, uh, has been already known or has been already tested in machine learning uh, literature but then uh, we, we tested and we adapted to this uh, climate uh, data. So I think uh, that's it. Uh, As uh, Francisco has said, uh, this is a, a quite multidisciplinary project because uh, we are applying soft computing and machine learning techniques to a very difficult problem such as uh, generally the detection of uh, tipping point in time series and especially in the case of climate data is even, even more difficult. So we, we have been in touch a lot with uh, Francisco of course and Isabel and Atanasia uh, from, from, from the advanced concept team in order to have a climate feedback about our result. So this is the general outline of this uh, summary. In this summary we are going to introduce first of all the, the problem. Then we will explain the main two tools we have developed in this, pro in this project in order to, to deal with this problem. Uh, some brief uh, conclusion and result. And finally, uh, a summary of the public publication related to the, to the project. So, as I have previously said, we are dealing with a, with a phenomenon which is called tipping point. Uh, and we are looking for tipping points in time series data. So, well, uh, Time series data is uh, something which is ubiquitous to a lot of different fields of research and they are bas basically a set of uh, real values uh, which are sampled in time from a continuous variable and um, they have to be analyzed in order to, to extract new knowledge or simply to predict uh, future values. Uh, they have a lot of uh, applications, for example in finance, in aerospace, and in entertainment or in this case in climate modeling because usually we have a, a climate records about temperature or other factor related with uh, temperature. Uh, we are interested in tipping point which is a, a quite interesting phenomena. Uh, here tipping points are referred to a, a certain time values in the time series where the time series move from one stable state to, to another and the regime of the time series changes a, a lot. Uh, usually if we are able to model the time series as a function of a certain parameter, uh, it is said that a tipping point is a small change in the parameter governing the time series that makes the time series move from one dynamics to other dynamics, to other different dynamics. Uh, the thing is that in climate, uh, they are related to climate change. Um, for example, if we consider that uh, climate is responding to pollution, uh, it is interesting to predict when a tipping point is going to happen in order to control the parameter, which in this, kind, in this case could be the, the pollution. Uh, the detection of tipping point uh, then in climate system is a very active er area. Uh, there are a lot of different words trying to characterize tipping points and trying to see what is happening in the time series, especially before the tipping point I is going to happen. Uh, usually, uh, one problem that uh, there is in, in, the, in the system works about uh, tipping points in climate data is that they use different uh, time windows for the different tipping points which is uh, an inconvenience and you have to uh, study individually almost everything, every tipping point. So that, that's the reason why soft computing techniques here are, are necessary. Uh, in this uh, slide I have included a 
figure from a paper of Dacos, who has studied a lot uh, tipping points in different contexts. And I think it is quite uh, clarifying for understanding better the, the concept of uh, tipping point. Here we can see how the biomass of a given farm, for example, is responding to a parameter governing the system, which in this case would be the grazing rate. So we can see how at the beginning we are in a, in a situation of under exploitation and the, the system responds in one way to the different grazing rate. We are increasing the grazing rate and of course we are decreasing the biomass of the farm. Uh, but there is a certain point which will be the, the tipping point where a small change in grazing rate makes the system uh, pass a critical transition and behave totally different after that. And we move from one under exploitation state to an over exploitation state, where the same grazing rate now responds uh, with much lower biomass. So the idea is to control or to have an idea um, about when the tipping point is going to happen in order not to increase more the grazing rate when we are more or less here. And this can be translated uh, to, to climate data. Here we have uh, one of the time series we have been working on in this project, which is the, um, the, the concentration of uh, uh, 18 isotope of oxygen uh, taken from ice core, from the different layers of ice core. Um, it is a known time series uh, which uh, take data from 50,000 years before present till present. So it's uh, a, a lot of data. And we have data every 20 years about the, this concentration of uh, oxygen. This uh, parameter is quite much rela related to, to temperature, and that's the reason why we study it and other people have studied it. Uh, here we can look at the tipping point, which in this case are called dance guard Oxford event or DO event and they are these different numbers. As you can check in the slide, when a tipping point occurs, we move from one state, from, from one climate state to, to another. Usually they are related to an abrupt change in the in the time series. And the thing is, can we look at something before the tipping point happened? in order to extract uh, new knowledge about the uh, time series and in order to prevent maybe this, uh, this tipping point. So what, as I have said, the main objective will be the, the finding and characterization of patterns preceding tipping points in valid climate data. Uh, we will try to develop a, a tool for detecting tipping points uh, and also, and it is very important, to obtain knowledge uh, uh, about what is happening before the tipping point, the typical behavior of the time series before the different tipping points. Uh, now I outlined here two possibilities. Uh, we can simply try to simplify the, the time series in order to be better understand what this uh, time series in order to extract a higher amount of knowledge and in order to obtain a higher level representation of the time series. Uh, this can give us uh, more information and this information could be used uh, as support for prediction method, for trying to develop something or some model that is going to tell us when a tipping point is going to happen. 